Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. This movie is so inappropriate, but I laughed my butt off from beginning to end. I seriously needed this in my life. Sharana from Pay or Wait, and today I'm going to be reviewing Good Boys, which is directed by Greg Sniski, and I think this is actually his um, first full feature um, film um, debut as a director. He's directed a couple episodes of The Office, but this film stars Jacob Tremblay, Keith L. Williams, and Brady Noon as this movie centers around a group of adorable sixth graders who is just minding their own business, trying to live their best life until their friend Max, played by Jacob Tremblay, he gets into a little bit of trouble, okay? And his friend they all band together to bail him out but they have to skip school in order to do this and essentially they go on this crazy journey interacting with all of these different people just so they can help their homeboy max out because he has found the love of his life he just want to make it to a party so he can get the girl and just save the entire day and i would have to say i love this movie so, so much. I actually have seen this movie um, two times. I saw it at um, South by Southwest and I just recently saw it again. And so for those of you who are new to my channel, I tell you what I liked about the film, what I didn't like about the film, and should you pay or wait to see this film in theaters. So going into what I loved about this film, a lot of people had issues. Like I saw people like, I can't believe that they have these young kids in this movie cursing like this, how dare them. I'm like, y'all, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that you want cursing in sixth grade? Because I know what I was doing in sixth grade. Actually, if my mom and dad is watching this, I had my nose in those books. I wasn't doing what these kids were doing, okay? Just in case they're watching. But yes, y'all know what people was doing in sixth grade. Kids curse. They say all types of crazy things, acting like they've grown and knowing that they're not grown, don't know half of the things that are happening. And so for me, I found this movie relatable. Even though it's a movie that centers around um, three young um, sixth grade boys, I still related a lot to this film. And what I would have to say is that even though there is cursing, this is not appropriate to take your little kids to see, I think that what makes the film funny is their reactions to things that they're experiencing or things that they're saying, but they really just don't get it because they are young kids and they haven't had these experiences as they kind of have some sexual humor, some sexual jokes that really only adults will understand because we know what these things are. But what makes it funny is their innocence as even though they're cursing, but how they react to certain things that they come in contact with, certain people that they come in contact with, that's where I found the movie to be very funny. And I would have to say, like all the boys did a very fantastic job. I love each of them, but I gotta give it up for Keith Williams who plays Lucas, who is like this, just like the child you would want. He is just on the right path in life. He is just a happy person. He's just trying to do the Lord's work and just be a good model student, okay? And so he can't help to tell lies and to see them get into these crazy interactions and to see his reactions to it himself, um, how he reacts to it, how he kind of gets them in even more trouble because he's kind of like their voice of reason, like, guys, we shouldn't be doing this. I loved him so much. He was my absolutely favorite character to watch in this film. Now, I have to say, I gotta give it up for the teenagers in this film. So there's two teenagers in the film, Hannah and Lily, and they kind of have something that connects them to the young boys, um, something that they're trying to get from them. I don't wanna spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it, but Midori Francis, who plays Lily, girl, she was doing some stunt work in here. I was like, girl, I see you. Like, I was here for all of that. I was just like, did she really do that? And then I did a little bit of research. I actually ended up talking to her um, at the after party in South by Southwest, and she said she actually did her own stunts. And when you see the scene, you would just be like, girl, you absolutely did the entire thing. But even though that this movie has a lot of humor, a lot of vulgar language, um, a lot of vulgar things that you may see, the movie has a message. And it's a very relatable message, not only for um, young teenagers, because really no one can see this movie because it's rated R, and even the three stars couldn't see the film. They had to bring them into uh, the theater after the movie screen because the language was so crazy, which had me thinking like, if they could curse acting it out, they know what happened, but why can't they see it? But you know, I'm, I'm all about protecting the young kids until it's their time to see these type of things. But there's a heart to it and there's a message. There's a message about friendship, about, you know, growing apart 
and how that's not a bad thing. You know, people change as we get older, as we start to come into who we really are, you start to see that some of the things that you clung to in your childhood it's not, it's not the same and friends drift apart and there's a lot of lessons with that. Um, there's a lot of lessons about um, not necessarily just bullying, but also to kind of being influenced by other kids, how you're trying to maintain your innocence, but because you're in school, going into middle school, you're trying to fit in. You have all these crazy new feelings that they address in the movie. Um, I think it's so great to watch films that are funny and they do a lot of crazy things but there's a purpose for it and I never felt that the kids were cursing or in all these crazy bizarre situations just for the sake of getting a laugh everything had a purpose everything tied back into this bigger message and that's what made the film so enjoyable do I have anything bad to say no I had a great time I saw this movie two times that's how good this film was I saw it twice and I walked out with a smile on my face each time stomach hurting tears in my eyes from laughing what I would tell you guys to do with you and your coins I would tell you to go pay to see this film in theaters as I said it's rated R so it's not appropriate for your little ones but I think that for the adults or people over 18 yeah they're all adults I think that they will have a great time watching this film and I think that a lot of people will relate to this like it took me back to my childhood but as I said I was a role model okay I was a good kid but yeah so those are pretty much my thoughts on good boys as always my name is Sharonda from Payer Weights and if you like what you saw today make sure you hit the like button hit subscribe share this video with your friends and make sure you hit that notification bell and I love you guys 3000 I'll see you soon